um, Western that they now call Alexandrian Western tax. Okay, and you'll saw you'll see that I got that pop up. Let's see if I can get it again. It doesn't always show, but that could be a problem with my uh, recording. I'm not getting the pop up like I got it. You saw it before. Okay, it's not showing now. But there's supposed to be a pop up every time your mouse is on a on a cursor. You're supposed to get a pop up of what the ver what the word means and its morphology. Okay, but one thing you can do is see if you right click, then I can find I can search on it. That's to search on it, and it's only going to search this version. Or I can look it up in any of my installed dictionaries. All right, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a really neat function. That's what BibleWorks allows too. All right. So let's say I just wanted to find it, and that's a very common word, and I don't, I don't know why it's in red, but let's look in 1 Corinthians. Okay, in 1 Corinthians, you put your cursor on the verse, and you get a pop-up as to what the verse says. All right, and then um, where you see the mu and the moi, he's showing variations. So this is a little more. This is a version that BibleWorks actually doesn't have, the CGRV. And so th it would kind of be worth it to get this um, software just because you can get this version, all right, and compare it with BibleWorks, all right. It has, just so that you see, this is Byzantine, and I haven't figured out yet how to get um, a polytonic font in the Byzantine. All I can find a monotonic. And, th and the same thing is true of the CGRV, but this is the SPL GNT and you can get see see how it's it's oh it's only showing the the, the tide of the verse okay but you can get um, polytonic fonts in that for SPL this is the TR the Scrivener version that's mo that's po uh, monotonic but here's polytonic that's a different version of, script, of Scrivener and both of these are available as part of the the modules that are for free so you can get a polytonic font for free you just have to figure out which to use which font to use to make it polytonic then you can also get Tischendorf I had to buy that I think I don't remember if I had to buy it or if it was bundled um, and then this is Westcott and Hort which is bundled and it's only monotonic and then you have a lot of different Bibles that you can get in English or other languages. You, you can even get instructions in Finnish. So there, you know, the, this program has a lot of different, um, different fine tuning, a lot of different features to it that you can try. But of the English versions, the only one that that I particularly liked was the King James. All right, the other versions I'm not fond of, and I didn't want to get another NASB. You have to pay a price for the NASB, and I didn't want that. I don't like the NASB enough. So um, they have the Net Bible, which is a terrible translation. I don't like it. Um, so you can have a whole bunch of Bibles in here. Now, like, see, this is my default configuration of the Bible sets, which shows all the ones I have in store. So let's see if I can um, show that to you. Here they are. Okay, I can't move the window in this. They won't. The window is docked to the right side of the screen. I have no idea why. But these are all the different versions of English Bibles that I installed. King, I, I put a Y in the KJV in front of KJV only because that makes it sort better. You can sort your Bibles in a certain order if you change their names. All right. This is the Net Bible, which I prefixed with a Z to make it sort behind KJV. This is Coverdale, which I didn't have. Um, and I'm not overly fond of, but it's a 1500s Bible, and sometimes that's useful. This is ESV 2011, which I, I, I have no, I haven't really tried the ESV, so I can't really comment on its translation. This is International Standard Version, which, eh, it's okay. And then this is one I've never heard of, the TS 98, which I haven't tested yet. But the point is, is that all your Bible versions can show up. And then you can click or unclick the boxes as to which ones you actually want to see. So this facility in this program is easier than BibleWorks. What's harder than BibleWorks is that if you want to see the verb,